Hey, this is a video for anyone that wants to add, whoops, let's get our lights on, that wants to add some kind of scripts to the header or body area of high level. First of all, I would encourage everyone to do this at a minimum using Google Tag Manager, but also for all those other bits and pieces of codes that you would put into a header. And what would you put into a header? You would put in stuff like the SEO Atlas tracking code, Google Analytics, Modimo, Google Tag Manager, all kinds of things. So to do that, when you're working inside of a funnel, just in the funnel, go over into settings and there is a place here for head tracking code and body tracking code. Keep in mind, whatever you put in there will appear on every single page in the funnel. So whether or not I have five or 50 pages in this funnel, that tracking code will appear in every single one. Now there are going to be times where you're only going to want the code on a certain page. So let's go to this order page right here. I'm going to edit this order page. Okay, and at the page level, you have a dialog box up here. It's this one right here, tracking code. The one that looks like the little left, less than sign slash greater than sign. You can click on that and you've got the same header and footer tracking codes here at the step level. Now, there's one other thing that I wanna show you when it comes to tracking codes. When you want to track very specific things like, like Google events or Facebook events, because all of our analytics and tracking packages are going more and more towards these things called events. If you're going to wanna track something that's a Facebook event, then at this level up here, this is gonna be over here under events. And under here, as long as you have your pixel ID and your access token, which you can get inside of Facebook, I've got a whole video on that. Let me know if you need that. But if you do that, then you can send a funnel level step kind of information. Maybe if you're really detailed on analytics, you want to send a separate event for each funnel step back to the Facebook pixel. You can do that. And by the way, really quick, these same settings are over here in websites. Inside of websites, the same area, you go to settings, you've got a place where you can put in head tracking code and body tracking code, and then under events, you can put in your Facebook events. Like I said, as long as you have your pixel ID and as long as you have your access token. And I would do both for sure. I would put the classic Facebook tracking script code in here, or again, use Google Tag Manager and then put all your bits and pieces of code inside of Google Tag Manager. And then also do the CAPI way or the API way for Facebook, which is where you come in here and you put in your pixel ID, you put in your pixel access token. That way you're getting server side events, which is what comes from here, also known as CAPI, also known as API. CAPI stands for Conversion API. You're getting that, and then you're getting it the classic way, the quote unquote pixel way here by using the JavaScript code. So if you have any questions, leave a note below in the comments and I will help you out. Take care.